Jake, tell us a little bit where we are, what this entire skate park here is all about. Well, we are right now in uh, Bangalore's, no, actually India's only free skate park actually. And uh, it was, it's like a DIY skate park built by only skateboarders. It was sponsored by Levi's and uh, it began because a few friends of ours from Germany were traveling in India. And when they met us for the first time, we showed them an empty property and told them what we want to do with it. And when they went back to Germany, they actually had an event going on with Levi's for building their own park there. And uh, through those contacts that they, you know, got through that in Germany, which is called Builders Jam by Levi's, through those contacts, they decided to, you know, sponsor this one, like uh, get this one sponsored. So a lot of people from Germany and America and Australia and... Uh, England, many countries, be, uh, you know, skaters who also built were invited to come down to Bangalore and be part of this. So uh, the park got built in probably like two weeks and uh, a week after that all the local kids started showing up to see like, you know, what's yeah. going on. And so uh, what happened since then when you opened in late March, right? Yeah, late March. Uh, since then what's happened is uh, we've had over like 100 kids who've been coming here and most of them have their own boats because uh, there was a big collection that went on in Europe for uh, sending boats for these kids and uh, we got like a bunch of stuff which we gave out to the kids like boats and shoes and people still keep sending us some stuff for them. Anyone traveling to India generally always comes here and brings something for the kids so you know, all the kids have boats and all the kids have shoes so there's a big scene started up here with all these underprivileged kids to start skating which is like a great thing for them because they pretty much didn't have anything else to do and you can see a change in the behavior of the kids itself. In which way? Well, for one thing, they're more outgoing, they are more open to strangers, and they're less uh, afraid to talk to people, especially if I see, you know, girls, there are about a few girls who come, they don't come so often because it's hard for them to get out of their house usually, like, uh, they have to go to school and come back and cook and clean and take care yeah. of their younger sister, etc. But uh, if I do meet them on the street, the marked change that I find is they are more talkative which they're less shy they they don't yeah. they don't feel like they cannot approach someone anymore which is which i think is like a great thing for them you know? mm. and uh, other than that there's so many kids like this guy here he is like a big troublemaker he used to be his mom has come in tears to the skate park about her son saying like you know he's misbehaving he's doing this he's doing that he's not come back all night and since then we have not had any more complaints about him because we warned him that you know if we get any more complaints from your mother there's no more skateboarding for you not you know welcome here we're going to take back your skateboard and since then we for kids like him he doesn't go to school he refuses to do it i don't know why we've tried everything and he doesn't he just refuses to go to school and if we try to force him in any manner he is one of those really headstrong kids like he gets he's hanging out with like the really wrong crowd for the really longest time yeah and which he doesn't anymore now he comes here to skate and hangs out and with he's kids pretty his cool age. Yeah. yeah he hangs out with kids his, his own age now which is like much better and yeah. Uh, yeah so that's like the biggest change that i've seen among the kids that has happened and it all pretty much happened by coincidence because we weren't planning on this you know we weren't planning on having like 100 kids come into the park and being in some manner feel responsible for them which I do now because now they come to my house sometimes like almost every other morning someone's knocking on the door and saying you know I have this I have that problem or whatever can you help me yeah. out with this I need a new wheel or something like that and it's uh, it's just become like that now because I I cannot say no to them they've become my friends yeah. now so uh, but that has happened since then yeah but still the neighbors here don't really love you all no, of them no, not all of them well most of the community likes us a lot a lot of them have appreciated what we have done they have come to this park and actually even given their time and their effort to you know helping out with things like when we used to have uh, classes happening here for uh, english and art and things because they had summer vacations and they didn't have anything to do all day and uh, Somana, he is actually before, he is great with kids. Like my partner is great with kids. So before we uh, started Holy Stoke together, he was into holistic education through sports. He used to work for Edu Sports, which is like a company in Bangalore. And uh, he said that, you know, it's not a good thing to leave these kids unattended on their holidays with nothing to do. So we should do something and have some classes and things like that. So a lot of, lot of people from around here actually came and helped with that, gave out free books and stationery and things like that. So it's not like all our neighbors donate us. 
is just uh, the one right next door who does and he has, uh, he has made all sorts of problems for us like through the local authorities and the police and whatnot. So uh, we are hoping to get over with that soon.